Hello guys, it is me obviously and I have to go back from work now. Not back home though, but I decided to go straight from work to the park for a bit of an autumn walk. So that's what you need to also make some get some content out of like photography content. So I thought well have a walk in the park, go for a bit of an autumn walk and then also get some content out as well. Um, but it's like really cold up today, like it's literally all foggy and it's cold and it's like just cold out where we need to get out of the car park. Okay, I'm out of the car park now. I didn't want to like actually be in the car park whilst the car was like, reversing out because I hate just like people who like just like literally stand at the back of cars whilst they're reversing even though they know full well the car's about to reverse but they just go at the back of the car anyway. Um, that's like everyone's biggest pet peeve so I'm not about to be everyone's biggest pet peeve so anyway. Hello you guys, I am back from walking now, awesome walking pretty good but now I want to make something which I see on TikTok all the time which is like, like whipped brie with like crostini and honey and chilli oil whatever you put in that whipped brie. You basically like get a bunch of brie and then whip it until like it's like whipped in a using a like mixer or whatever you use and then you put it on a plate and then you spread it about so it's like it's like brie butter kind of thing and it's like one of the like, the, like butter board thing which was a trend last year so I'm going to do that today so I got some brie and I got some other things as well. So we're like crostini things to make the, well to accompany the brie, so the brie will go into crostini obviously. Got the brie, obviously, just like brie. Oh, but then I also got some Mod Podge as well because I want to get some like leaves and make some like plastic like leaves. I want to get some autumn leaves from my garden because there's loads of it right now. And I want to like mat them and obviously use Mod Podge to make like decorative leaves so got some Mod Podge as well but I didn't realise how expensive it would be like I was thinking that this Mod Podge would cost like I don't know two or three pounds but this thing costs about seven pounds so I actually not realise how expensive Mod Podge is but I mean it's a fairly big bottle so it should last so um I can make some nice leaves as well so and I'm gonna make this like whipped spree now and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, I'm back now. It's been a few hours since I last did that brie thing, but yeah, whoops, brie went pretty good, but it's about um, half nine at night now. So I just went to work after that, and now I'm back now, and I'm like really tired. So I've done so much today. I went to work number one, then went to work number two tonight. So I think I'm gonna have a load of party food. So I basically went to Tesco and just bought a load of past food crap. Got some king prawns, some waffle fries, got some more stuff in the freezer as well. And I'm gonna make a board just full of freeze food really. And I even got this like, cute little like tart house bunch of defrosting. So that's my plan for tonight. So I'm gonna cook these, make a little frozen food board, um, obviously cooked. And then we go upstairs and get some stuff done. Hello guys, it is me again obviously I'm going to combine today's vlog, yesterday's vlog because I was planning to vlog even more yesterday but then I kind of like got busy like a lot of other things else and by the time I got done that it was like 2am so. So today I'm sat my by coffee and then also got some autumn leaves also which I got from the garden like something I went to yesterday and got some Mod Podge I'm going to try and make some plastic like not plastic but like decorative autumn leaves out of the autumn leaves which are in the back garden so the reason why I have these mod pods is because I'm trying to prime it because obviously if you leave autumn leaves quite well it starts to rot and obviously I want to stay like kind of intact so I'm not sure if it'll work and a lot of some YouTubers do it some other people do it so I should imagine it should work but if it doesn't then it kind of doesn't but it's a fun little activity so uh, I've got a whole bag full of leaves I've uh, got like large leaves I've got a few I'm just gonna dry them now because they're still wet from the outside and then I'm gonna start to put some Mod Podge on. I didn't have any, any like sort of like paint brushes so I had to get a scouring sponge and rip the scouring end of it off. 
Um, so to use sponge apply the Mod Podge. Um, so I should imagine it should be pretty good actually. So um, yeah. Okay, right, so we're at an hour now since the last kind of like told you guys about the leaves, but anyway, I managed to do the leaves now and they look such quite nice actually, so this leaves dried, obviously it's like sealed, obviously mod parched and it actually looks really nice actually. Um, so it's like plasticky like film in a way, that's what mod podge is, but the leaves are here and they look really nice, so um, yeah, I'm gonna wait for them to dry even more because still parts which are like really wet, but um, when the fully dry, those posts look really good, so um, yeah, you've got like brown leaves as well, which is like all like lovely and brown. There's still bits of glue in it which needs to dry again, but not this one. And I've got this, like mini leaves as well, which are part of like a branch originally, but I've got the branch off because I realised how hard it's going to be like to try and like mod parts the branch leaves, so I saw the branch off and here are these like miniature leaves. Um, and then that's about it really, so um, I have got loads more leaves in the garden which I'm going to try and pick later like, days, but um, the leaves which I've got for now are actually really good, so um, yeah, cute little lots of marks and craft, y'all. Right, I've managed to edit that video, well, edit it to my vlog, but you know how like, sometimes when you edit, you always think, oh, I'll spend about two hours and it should be done by then, but even though it takes like, an entire day to do. Well, that's what happened today, so. But I've managed to expo edit it, so I'm just exporting it now, so. But also I need to get ready for work tonight, because I've got work tonight again, so. And um, yeah, I've also made the last of those caramel tarts as well. You know, like mini caramel tarts, my Tesco. I've got like the frozen now, and I'll see defrosted them and stuff, but they look so good. I just want to have like the last of them, so. I need to get some more. I don't know, I feel like I never get any frozen foods, but um, I don't know, I feel like I've never sort of like been that fond of like frozen foods, but I have to say, them like frozen party foods yesterday were so good. So I think I've unleashed my frozen food side. Um, so that's pretty good. Anyway, I'm gonna just watch some TikToks and just procrastinate because I need to do a lot of things actually, but I just don't want to do it. And so I'm gonna procrastinate until I'm in a position where I have to do it, so good for me.